It's Tammy. Um, we're trying something new tonight. This is Tammy, and Tammy's here too. I'm over here. There, saw her hand. There is a um, YouTube site, of course, other than mine, but there's a YouTube site uh, called uh, Views on the Road. She makes wonderful Mexican American food and traditional Mexican food. And I have just had a whole new, what? Appreciation. Appreciation for the ethnic cuisine. So, I decided today, I was going to make, we're going to see how to, I, now listen, I, I am so not trying to offend anybody, but if you knew me, I do well to even speak myself and say regular words, like, you know. Be thy though, whatever. Capiratada. Well, here's what here's what this site says. Capirotata. Capirotata. Capiratata. 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 Hope I'm saying that right. She made one and it just absolutely looked amazing, people. It's like a Mexican bread pudding. Now I don't claim to be an expert on um, Mexican cooking, not at all. But I love it and I'm willing to try. And that's what I'm doing. So if you all get a chance, after you watch this one of course, you can go on over to uh, Views on the Road and Stephanie will show you how to do all kinds of cool stuff, okay? But what we're gonna do today is we're going to take uh, sort of her recipe but we're gonna put a spin on it. We're gonna put a Tammy spin, a little Kentucky spin, if you will. Um, Where Kentucky and Mexico meet? Yes. On the border? Where Kentucky and Mexico meet on the border. There you go, I love it, I love it. Um, I will put on the information area, I will put um, her recipe and my recipe and um, and you can look decide what you want to do. I'm making a smaller version because, well, we don't need it all, <laughs> but we just want to try. Um, and this is what I, what goes into her recipe. Uh, about five cane sugars. And I don't know if you all have ever seen this or not. I know, it, it's unusual. It's nothing I ever grew up with, but it's uh, condensed cane sugar juice. Oh my gosh, y'all. I've got some already in here. I can almost eat it like that. But anyway, you can get this at uh, your local Mexican grocery store. And um, our closest is Glasgow. And it's El Nacional. Nacional? Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to mispronounce that. But they're great and they have these. And they're, they're really good. She calls for five of these. Five of those? Five. Yeah, that's for a big. Okay. okay. Eight and a, hers is for an eight and a half, nine Nine by eleven, whatever those are. I don't know. Okay. It's big. Um, one Mexican cinnamon stick, and it's got to be Mexican cinnamon. Now, I've already got some right here. Already broke up. Just want to break it up a little bit. Do you know what the difference is between Mexican and American? I don't. I know the Mexican is easier to break and it's like looser, but as far as the taste and the, the smell, I really don't know. Okay. But maybe we'll find out here in just a little bit. Yeah. Hey, okay. If anybody knows, please leave a comment. Uh, her recipe calls for four cloves. I did not have solid cloves or whole cloves. So I have got, what do you think? About a half of a teaspoon, about a half of a teaspoon of ground cloves. So, uh, a zest of one orange. I've got that right there. Um, hers calls for a half a cup of raisins. I didn't have raisins. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it calls for a cup of peanuts. This is about a half a cup of peanuts. Uh, it calls for a cup of chopped prunes. And there's about a half, maybe three-fourths of a cup of chopped prunes. And uh, hers calls for, um, oh yeah, queso fresco, cheese, yes. Queso fresco, the kind that goes over your, your tacos and your burritos, you know, that pretty. And again, you got that where? 
I got that at my Mexican grocery store. You can get it at Walmart. Okay. They do have it at Walmart. Uh, it, it's amazing, y'all. It's just a here. And say it again. What's it called? Queso fresco. Queso fresco. Okay. Taste of it is good. Oh, nice. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know, it, to me, it's unusual to put regular cheese, like we put on our refried beans, for instance, in a sweet dessert. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, it looked too good, and I trust her. She has got some good food going on. Um, and then, I hope I'm saying this right, bolio bread. Uh, you, you can get this at Walmart at the, in the bakery section, or you can get it at your Mexican grocery. Okay? If you can't use this, you can use a, um, what are those breads? The long ones? French or uh, the French. Italian. French. The French, uh, French uh, baguettes. Ones. And what you have to do is you have to uh, put them in the oven and roast them or bake them, dry them out, get them crunchy. Uh, you put about 400 degrees, and um, she calls for four, and I've got two here. This is two. They're pretty big, so, you know, I'm just sort of guesstimating on my part. Anyway, um, I've knocked down my amounts, and I have added, this is what I'm adding to mine, okay? I thought, well, didn't say that. I haven't okay. got to that yet. Let's look at right there. And this is wonderful. This is Molina Mexican Vanilla. I'm going to add some of this in here because I can. <laughs> and it is so good. So I have got um, about a, two teaspoons. I want to smell. Yes. It's good. Good. I've got two teaspoons in there. Oh, I think I need to get that for my coffee. It's I put it in mine in the mm -hmm. mornings. It's great. It's great. Uh, and I'm also going to be putting, y'all, I just had to do it. Cream? Half, about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Mm. And we'll be putting that in a little later. But oh. we're going to put that in there, okay? And I wouldn't be a Southern Belle if I didn't put some butter in there. Butter. Butter. Oh, there's, a, there's like a crumb. It's from my... Okay, so I have got about two tablespoons of butter. I'll have all this written down. I know it's confusing, but anyway, here we go. I've got two of the cane sugar, or the cones, cane sugar cones. Um, and what do you do with the cone, just out of curiosity? I'll show you what I've got right here. I have, my hands are impeccably clean, just saying. I have got about five cups of water. And you just take these, put them in the water, okay? okay? And we're gonna boil that. But first, we're gonna put in our orange peel. So I've put two cones of the sugar, five cups of water, and the orange peel. Also gonna put the cinnamon, dump it in there, and the nutmeg. And I think that's all we do right now. I'm going to put it on the stove, and I'm going to bring it up slowly to a boil. And then I'm going to boil it about 20 to 30 minutes. And then we'll be back, and we'll see what's happening. We're back! Now, we're making the Mexican bread pudding. And we're putting a, a little spin on things and changing it up a little bit because, well, that's just who we are and what we do. What we do. <laughs> who we are and what we do. Um, I will put the recipe that I got from uh, Views on the Road YouTube channel, and I will also put my changed up recipe. Um, so we're just trying this. I've never made this before, and we are going to attempt. That smells so good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so you just got that off the stove. Yes, just keep me sorry. Okay. We put in our cane sugar cones, two of those, and um, we put our Mexican cinnamon. We put our orange peel and our cloves. We did not have whole cloves, so I went ahead and put in powdered. Half a teaspoon. 
about a half a teaspoon. And five cups. And five cups of water. Now, what I did was I put all that in the pot, put it in just tepid water, room temperature, and um, brought it up to a boil and let it boil for about 20 minutes. Um, that gets everything happy together. Does it not? It smells like Christmas. It does. It does. With, I think with the cinnamon and the orange and the clove. We're going to have to make this for Christmas. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see if I don't, if I hadn't just completely screwed up the recipe. Okay, what's next? But, try, try, try. And if I screw it up, we'll try it again. Next, we take our pan, which you can, um, I think she buttered hers. I just actually took butter spray and sprayed it really good. So. That's the American one. That's, yeah. Uh, butter, yeah, but. And our toasted bread. Oh, you don't even cut it up. Uh-uh, put it in there just like that. Because American bread pudding have always seemed like chopped up. Mm-hmm, they do. Um, like into crouton, yeah, big size, crouton yeah. sizes. Chunky sizes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And this, you want to get, from what I understand, you want to get it like solid, okay, especially this bottom layer. Yeah. As solid as you can. Solid as a rock, 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 rock. rock. Oh my gosh, that's a flashback from the, oh, peaches, the good old days. peaches and herb. Herb, what's that their name? Peaches and Herb. I don't know. Anyway, okay. Oh, y'all. I'm not too together on this. Let's see. Let me think. What am I supposed to do? No, but I will do this in just a minute. Okay. I'm going to take my prunes here, and I'm going to sprinkle them over. Now, are you using about half of what you've got, or how many layers are you making? Uh, well... I don't know. I I'm just bread gonna, you got. I just how much bread I got. I'm okay. just gonna see. Put a few down. I don't know. You know, it looks right. Take some of these uh, peanutters here. That's just an odd. I know. Thing I to put in bread pudding. I think that's why I like it so much. And it's not a baking nut. I mean, mm -hmm. we use walnuts. We use pecans. But peanuts? I know. Well, that's, I mean, uh, I think that. Are you sure the Stephanie is right in her head? Stephanie, <laughs> yes. Okay. She is No right. offense, Stephanie. No she offense. She said that I didn't. I just, it's the peanut thing throwing me. The peanut thing, well, I mean, it's like uh, a lot of Asian and Latin things, they use peanuts a lot. Well, that's good. I love peanut butter. I mean, you know, no complaints, just curiosity. Now, I, what I'm doing now is I am putting um, butter. butter. This is this is a Tamiism right here. We're putting butter in here. Just, I just chopped up a couple of tablespoons of butter. Because we're Kentucky and that's what we do. And we like it. And that's who we are. Yeah. So, let's see. Oh, what I'm going to do is with the Mexican vanilla and the Kentucky cream, I'm just going to put some vanilla right in there. 
Oh. I put that behind my ear, y'all. I can stop that bowl for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look how thick that is. Isn't it great? Look at that spoon. Look at there. Oh. No. I will. <laughs> Don't tempt me. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this cream. I'm not um, pouring like a whole, whole lot. Probably about a fourth of a cup. Just a little moisture. Yeah, because we're going to put the, the other stuff in here. I'm going to put some of the queso fresco. Now, see, this is what throws me. This is cheese. This is cheese like just a, a you put on a salad or an, an American cheese you would use like a Monterey Jack or mozzarella that would be you know if that's what you have that's what you use but I think I'm just I, I'm so excited y'all and then we've made a little layer here and we're going to put our sugar cane juice all over now, we're not going to saturate this to the point of it being soggy. We don't want to do that. Not yet, anyway. Oh, Tammy, this is going to be good. I can't wait. This is the good, good stuff. And I'm telling you, I know it would, the original recipe <laughs> is bound to be wonderful, but, you know, just in the mood to switch things up a little bit. I don't know that I've ever followed a recipe completely. I don't know. You put a good cup or so in there. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Now, I'm going to put some more bread on here. Now, I man, I don't think I've toasted enough bread quite, but that's okay. That's what we got, and we're going to make do. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Press it down. Yeah, let's put some more of these. What are they? Prunalunas. Now, she has raisins in hers, and I would have used raisins too, but I just didn't have any. These were like little friend of a friend of mine gave them to me because she didn't like prunes. But they uh, they were tiny. They were like little tiny prunes. I mean, just a little bit bigger than a raisin. But were they norm Were they like sweeter than regular prunes mm -hmm. or anything? I no. was thinking if they're small, they might be sweeter. Yeah. No, they were just. So, I mean, if you've got raisins, you know, go ahead and add it. Try it. Make it your own. Make it yours. Don't be afraid of prunes. Prunes are wonderful. They have a bad rap. They do. Now, if it makes you feel better, we'll call them dried plums. <laughs> dried plums. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> but uh, they, they're wonderful, and they're, they're almost like candy. You mm -hmm. get the good, what are those ones? Ones, friends the, that are the single that are individually wrapped. Aren't they like sun kissed or sun something that uh, makes? I can't think of the brand. I don't. I can't think of it either. But oh, they're so good. They're good to snack on. Yeah. Mm. Adding a little Kentucky cream. Just I don't want to know how many calories are in this by the way. Please don't. Well, I hear if you eat it on a holiday, there's not any. <laughs> today is... That's what I hear. What is today? It is something about elephants today. Appre Elephant Appreciation Day. Today is Sunday, September the 22nd, and it is... Uh, I don't know if it's national, but it's Elephant Appreciation Day. We have so many elephants have, in Kentucky. I have my elephants on. She has her elephantes on. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of the queso fresco. Oh, Hello, my little friends. My goodness. You can put more if you want to. I mean, try it. If nobody ever tried to do different recipes, we'd be eating modern bread. Bread and water. Now, maybe that's what we eat for in jail. Um, <laughs> they eat better than that. Like yeah, that. they... <laughs> Yeah, they eat better than a lot of people. My goodness, here we go. Oh, isn't that just awesome, y'all? Oh, brown goodness. I mean, let me get this where you can see this. Can you see this? 
Backward car. No, man, I'm staying here on my tongue. <laughs> you know, it's serious. It's serious, people. When I got my tongue stuck out to the side. It's serious. Serious times. Serious times. <laughs> now, do you use all the liquid up? Or do you? Well, now, since we did it our way, <laughs> um, I sort of guessed on the measurements. But you just, you don't want there to be juice up to the top, you know. You just want it to be in there enough for it to drink up and when it cooks it's gonna like congeal. So, you sort of use your own mind. <laughs> you know, you just, look, just little common sense goes a long way when it comes to cooking. So when you take it out and, and start to eat it, it should not be um, like soggy or anything. Well, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We trying it out. I don't know. I didn't use quite all of that. I'll have to set this over here so Tammy won't drink it. Mm. Oh, there's a friend. Huh. Yes, I did. I ate that because I could. Now I'm going to press this down a little more. Oh yeah, look at there. Can you see it? Now the juice is up. Now we're going to put it in a 400 degree oven. We're going to cook this for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, okay, and then we'll be back. And once again, we're back, and look who we brought with us. It smells so good. Oh, we made this. That's like awesome. You made it. I really did nothing. Well, you were here for moral support. I'm always here for your moral support. Stuck! Stuck! Can be <laughs> everything. What we're going to do now is we're going to plate it up and then we're going to taste it. That's where I can be. And we're going to see if I screwed up the recipe or I just come up with something. What about that? Oh, I'm sure it's wonderful. Oh. Here, you can have more, but try that. Well, it's got to cool off. It just came out of the oven. Oh, my goodness. You know, I have an <sighs> asbestos tongue sometimes. Oh, my. Yay. Let me get some of the crunchy bread. I know, right? Okay, well, I'm going to sit down right here. Mm. Maybe. Ow. Oh my god. Is it good? Oh. She's eating it and it's hot. Oh. She never does that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man. What about the peanuts? And the cheese? Oh my gosh. That's what I'm going to try. That is wonderful. This is just very different from us. Uh, for, we're not. We didn't grow up eating food like this, but we, you know, mm -hmm. we're willing to try it. Don't be stuck on just pinto beans and cornbread, or or chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings. <laughs> Can we get some chicken and dumplings in here one day? Yes, we'll have those soon. I'm so excited. Nothing wrong with eating them all the time. Nothing wrong with it. But you know, sometimes you just need to step out of your comfort zone. Okay, I'm going to try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'll make a monkey wiggle right there. That's good stuff. Mm. That's good. And the peanuts? Got that little crunch, and it, it just goes so well. Do you think the cream and the vanilla that I added helped or hindered? What do you think? It couldn't have hurt. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't really taste. Mm-hmm. It's I not like it's real, it's not a strong added right. anything, but. I taste the vanilla. Mm-hmm. I think the cream 
may have helped it get thicker as it cooked. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably what that did. Maybe soften the, the, the sugar syrupy stuff a little bit. Maybe, maybe. Regardless, if you cook it my way, or you cook it like Stephanie on Views on the Road, I believe you're gonna be happy. Mm -hmm. mm. And you don't even need a sauce with this. Mm. The sauce is in it. Mm. What is it? There used to be a. I don't know how There used to be a commercial. It's in there. What was that for? Remember? It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. I can't say that. I don't know where you're at. It's a commercial. It's in there. It's in there. I have no idea. Google it. Google it. It's in there, commercial. Oh, y'all yeah, wait. Mm. And the cheese. The queso is wonderful. So much for his best to smell. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> when sugar gets hot, it's hot. Dang, that is good stuff. How do you like the cheese? It's just melted in. But it's, I love the texture of it. And the prunes. It all just blends together really well. Mm. Stephanie, who pop? Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. This is wonderful. Wonderful. Even if I did, or if we did, put a few cameosms in it. <laughs> More? <laughs> mm. But it's great. Um, I urge you to try it both ways. I probably do her recipe, you know, a bigger one later. Might fix it for church and we get... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> fix it for church on Wednesday nights. Or, I don't know. We're Baptists. We're always having a meal. So, that'd be, that'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun. It's just different. Step outside your comfort zone, people. Step out. Live a little. It's just food. If you mess it up, Luna, my little girl, Luna, my little dog girl, <laughs> she's she's whining because she's not getting any food. She's on a special diet. Mm -hmm. I'm not. She's not liking it. I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> she's ready for some more. I can keep from burning my I mean, well, at least not have to go to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, my. Don't get carried away. Okay. There you go. Mm. You know what would really be good? What? A scoop of vanilla ice cream. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> vanilla ice cream. Cream. Wouldn't that be, put a, a, a big scoop on top of this? Oh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> See, just another million things you can do with it. Play with your food, people. Play with your food. It's all good. Well, I think we're going to finish eating. And maybe eat again. <laughs> but thank you all so much. If you like my video... Please hit the little like button, the subscribe, and hit the little bell so you know when we put up new videos. We're new at this. We're new at this YouTube thing. Forgive us that things have sort of gone awry sometimes, but we're just having fun. And we hope we can help you out, give you a new recipe, give you something to talk about tomorrow at work. Mm -hmm. So, be real. Be real, please. Be real. And have a good one. And, oh, go visit um, uh, Views on the Road. 
and look up Mexican bread pudding. You'll love it. Check out our other videos too.